We in here at Evan's house. We're gonna solve ourselves a murder. We're gonna learn the truth now. And then we're gonna leave the building. Oh! Welcome back to Manly Voices. Oh. Okay. Hello, one and all. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Manly Voices. I'm Evan, also known as Manly Ankles. I'm back again with Gabs. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good to be back and recording. Um, we've had pretty busy schedules as of late, uh, but we finally had a chance to meet. Mm -hmm. Hi, hi, Grace. I'd, I'm including you. Don't worry. Hello. Grace is a part of this process, damn it. <laughs> By the way, all you did, did, did... Did y'all yeah. motherfuckers vote in the audience? You should have. Yes. It's democracy is important. Yeah, speaking of participating. Anyway. Okay. Did I just spit on you? No, you're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw some particulars come out of my mouth and I was like, ooh. So we're back in Danganronpa. Um, at this point, uh, our dear Sayaka just got murdered in the bathroom. She got it. <clears throat> and we stopped mid-investigation. So we have a few... Um, we have a few truth bullets already. Uh, the Monokuma file, so she was uh, stabbed to death with a knife, I remember. And she was in our bathroom, and her right wrist is broken. And mm -hmm. so there's evidence of a struggle, obviously. There's scratches, and our replica sword has been taken out of its sheath. There is gold on her hands, which indicates that she may have grabbed it, or it, it hit her. Or at least the sheath hit her wrist and broke it. And then there's blood on her index finger, which, and she wrote this message with it. It's an, it looks to be numbers. Although, it yeah. It could be something else, but we don't know for sure. Yep. <clears throat> 11037. Yes. And then our bathroom, Makoto's bathroom door is unusual in that it gets stuck. We thought it was locked at first, but only the girls' bathrooms are should have locks. Which is weird. Because yeah. everyone wants bathroom privacy. Yeah, apparently Monokuma wanted to respect the girl's decency among others. That's <clears throat> a double standard, Monokuma. I guess. All Social right. justice warriors in the murder house. So let's see if there is anything we haven't discussed yet. Let's talk to Kyoko just to get back into things. <clears throat> ah! What was her... <laughs> she was, she's like super monotone, but we're going to give her a list. Uh, that's right. She had the list. Yes. I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Uh, oh, do we Which... have to just look at the doorknob? Uh... What that? What the heck? It's a door! The door's practically about to fall off! Oh my gosh! Why is it like this? Why am I like this? Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. Um... We're eating tacos while we do this, so it's okay. We're never not eating while we do this. I was gonna this. say, most of the time it's either tacos or pizza. And That's I know, the only way we can get our guests to come over. That is not true, <laughs> Evan! You, no, you take that back. Okay. We're, just, we're just hosty like that. Yeah, yeah. you guys like, are just gracious. You're like, you're coming to my house? Uh, here's food. Uh. It's not a bribe, it's <laughs> just a courtesy. Yeah. Someone must have used the screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. <laughs> And we're back in this! Yeah. Bean, be gone with you! Yeah, shoot. Okay. Whatever it was, it's obvious that it was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? But wait! She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Ow! <laughs> I might just have one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? <laughs> Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... I, well, I, I, I sent an email to my mom and I sent a letter to my fifth grade guidance counselor. She never responds, but <laughs> she said we'd be pen pals forever. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> well, I did tell Sai she she helped me get over my shitting problems in the <laughs> elementary school. Oh my god, I forgot about that! Yeah, Makoto is a chronic shitter. <laughs> I forgot about that too. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Hmm. Interesting. She <laughs> had the <Yeah>, guilty. <laughs> she had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. Really? I got the sense that she was starting to really get un into all this. 
Don't you love it when the girl that you're with just is really getting into this murder? Yeah. Zach clears that up. Collect She's really hoping you'll be guilty and put in handcuffs. Yeah, mm. and collecting all that DNA evidence. <laughs> uh, what clears what up? I'm so lost. You're lost all day, every day, buddy. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bitch, bye! As if forgetting I was ever, ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Gosh, I'm so average. All right, so oh, bathroom like, doorknobs added to our this evidence. This is so not the time for this, but I totally bought like shredded lettuce and a tomato for the tacos. And, oh, uh, whoops. Yeah. Well. I forgot because we just started devouring them. That's okay. I Are there any more? There might be a couple left, but I haven't had any yet. Okay, I'll wait until you have some. <laughs> okay. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. Aww. Yeah, that's right. Before all this happened, we got all. We. Got all the sad. Yeah, like really we got good editing. We got uh, DVDs from Monokuma trying to urge us to kill by showing us very cryptic gl glimpses into our home lives and what could have possibly happened to our families. Uh, ours was that our living room was destroyed and we don't know where our family is. Uh, what? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Three or four. Yes. <laughs> uh, with Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see what myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Aww. Yeah, because everyone's suspicious because the murder happened in our room. Maybe. Uh, what does Mondo have to say? Thank you. <clears throat> there you go. Y Yo, I realized something. I it's only it's only right that I take over Evo's voices. Sure, sure, go for it. I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? That's where we could have tossed you, you shitbag! That's definitely possible. This is really possible. just like masculine Natsuki, isn't it? Pretty much. That dirty bastard! It's... Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death! That's what my brother taught me! It's masculine cornhead Natsuki. <laughs> yeah. That's my yep, kink. But hashtag Buffsuki is real. <laughs> <laughs> Buffsuki is love, Buffsuki is life? Yes. So, so if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? Uh, that'll get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> he's just like a robot, and so that paradox comes, and he's like, but, da, Calculating. But, shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Yes. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. That is... Hey, you giant um, sheep. Way to be fucking part of the problem and not part of the solution. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Bean? Bean. Leave the area. Is he trying to get up on the chair yeah, again? Yeah, he's smacking down the soul's chair. Bean toes. Okay, so... What's up with Sayaka? Wait Sayaka's a room. I know this is important. Hold on. I know your mom is important. This is definitely my room, but... The nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. That's weird. Does that mean <laughs> our room has Makoto on it? Our nameplates got switched. <gasps> this uh? is Sayaka's room, right? B but it has my nameplate on it. But wait! The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? I like that everything he says, he has to extrapolate it to its fullest extent. Yeah. But if, if her nameplate's there and... My nameplate's here. Could that possibly mean that our nameplates are switched and they're not in their proper spot? It's just that <laughs> meme with all the numbers and mathematical yeah, exactly. symbols flying around his head. <laughs> two plus two equals... <laughs> so all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. Oh, I wonder if Monokuma comes around and just switches it on his own. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. But why would anyone do that? Nice! So we got that in the uh, Excuse me. Alright, let's talk. What does uh, Leon have to say? You did his voice, yeah. right? Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file says that Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Oh. Oh, so if we talked to him, it would have alluded us to the nameplate first. He My put... favorite thing about these kinds of games is they leave, like, not so thinly veiled. Yeah. Clues well, everywhere. they want to make sure that we figure it out at some point. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Very strange. Mr. Naegi, what was Miss Mizuno doing in your room? 
Let me just say this. Mr. Fanfic Writer! I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Okay, so Where's he's- Where's Rich Bitch? I want to know what Ooh. asshole sa has to say about this. Yakuya? Here he is. <clears throat> so, why was Sayaka in your room where she was killed? Could it be because you were the culprit? Up. Yeah, no one is thinking that you're fucking right now. Like everyone uh, just thinks you that you have you're... no game. <laughs> yeah, sir. Yeah, they're they're not even willing to give you the benefit yeah, of the doubt. Not only have you shit your pants within the first <laughs> five minutes of orientation, you also got the lights knocked out of you by Mondo. Not a very impressive track record, I must say. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wait, Gabs, die via taco. Yeah, I don't want to make you choke via taco. Okay, wait, speaking of tacos. Yes. Yes, enjoy, asthma fans. You're <laughs> <laughs> gonna do some mukbang here on Manly Voices? No, you got it all wrong. Psyche and I switched rooms last night. It was, it was under the shirt, over the bra. <laughs> <clears throat> he didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Even if what you say is the absolute truth. You're still gonna die. You're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <laughs> Not necessarily, bitch. The reason that Sayaka was killed is because I we suggested we switched rooms? She's no, because, because someone was trying to bust into her room first. That's true. Wait, is it? Well, ki yeah, if the... Well, it, de it depends on when the nameplates were switched, because if mm. the killer came into the room thinking it was Sayaka, then it wouldn't have mattered. Right. Then it should have been me that died? Well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. I mean, he's not wrong. If that's really true, then I... I have to go shit. <laughs> How do we move? I shit when I'm nervous! Oh, it's B that moves. Okay, so, fuck. What do you, where should we go next? Um, we have a few places we can look. We can... <clears throat> She got. She died by a knife. So if there was like a set of knives mm -hmm. in the kitchen, or we can go look in the trash room because that's been brought up a couple times. Trash room. All right. Let's do it. Okay. I also like how there's like just trees in here to make like I know we're completely cut off, but like there's false just trees oxygen. everywhere. Yeah. I guess it wouldn't be false oxygen and be. Uh, unless they were fake trees. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, this is the trash room. <clears throat> so what have we? There's a trap door. <clears throat> trap door! It's a trap door! It's a hatch! There's a hatch on the floor. <laughs> There's a hatch in the bottom of the floor. <laughs> There's a hatch on the floor. It's just a little hatched duckling or something. Aww. <laughs> rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Nice. <laughs> a very astute observation, <laughs> Watson. Can I have a sip of water? Just drink this. Yeah, that's my new stuff. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Whoa. <laughs> it's the end of the line. The trash room is where all the trash in school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, no. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, no! No entry is beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Yeah, you just said that, but... Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, no! No entry beyond this point! Uh... Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! I don't like that. This is stupid. <laughs> It'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no, no! The entry is no point! Only no! person cleaning no! duty! No! <laughs> nice. Just start screaming, just... No! Cleaning duty! Cleaning duty! Cleaning duty! <laughs> clean, clean, maybe if clean. you clean for once, bitch, you'd be allowed in! Yeah, maybe if you pick up your goddamn socks! <laughs> that's, that's a little too personal. Oh, Did I hit a little close to home? I'm sorry. <laughs> for me, it's underwear. Alright, so I guess I, we're I not gonna find anything. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. It's, I leave my underwear everywhere. So we're screwed here <laughs> for now unless we find out who was on cleaning Why? duty. So let's go to the kitchen. Because I get undressed Shit. in a hurry and I'm excited to cuddle at the end of the night. So I just throw my clothes everywhere, duh! This is the slight flatulent sound of the sriracha <laughs> bottle. Sorry, I just like to eat straight sriracha. No sriracha. That's such a weird word. Okay, let's ch we're gonna check around the kitchen and then we're gonna call it an episode. Gonna call it no. Oh, hi, Hina. What's up, girl? Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Investigating what? What happened? Did someone die? I was just here to get myself a quesadilla. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, oh. Shit, sorry. Ah! Here it is. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. This is all a first for me, you know. I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. Oh wait, that's a that's the wrong voice. Ah, uh, it's okay. Whatever. We're getting back into this. I know what you mean. And I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me calm. Helps me keep calm. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging out in here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Were you, bitch? Oh. So she's saying she had nothing to do with this. Okay, but she... Oh no, that's just a, a rule that we imposed about being out in, yeah, a, in that, the night. Yeah, going out at nighttime was like well, that's a... That's the house rule. Agreed upon, yeah. Alright, so... Knives. Those, yep, there are definitely knives. Those are some nice produce <clears throat> piles there. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small. But it looks like one of them is missing. Why wouldn't you grab the biggest one? Was it v missing from the very beginning, or...? Probably uh, not. I better see if anyone here knows more about it. How expensive must this be to upkeep for whoever's doing it? Oh, man. Um, I would imagine because it's an elite private school, they've had, like, sh shit tons of funds from the government. Oh, fair enough. Uh, I don't think there's anything else beside the knives that we had to look at. There's just food. It's a fucking dope-ass kitchen, man. <clears throat> yeah. I remember one of the other episodes, Monica Monokuma says, uh... The food gets restocked every day. Yeah. There's a bunch of vegetables all piled up. Those are apples. They're not vegetables. You're not a vegetable. I don't see anything noteworthy about any of it. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Great! Good it, job looking at that potato, homie. It's actually kind of good that we get those Monokuma tokens so we can increase our friendships later on. Oh, that's right. I forgot that that's a thing. Marbled meats! Salted meats! I like how they give us, like, top-of-the-line shit, though. Now's no time to be thinking about food. This is serious murder business. Nice! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get the fuck out is of here. Is that like an industrial microwave? Dang. They, this school is top of the line. All right, so next time on Manly Voices, we will investigate the other area, other areas and, other find areolas. Out, and find out what the fuck happened to Sayaka. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. Yeah. Also leave a comment on what other voice adventures you'd like us to do on this show. Yeah! 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 Until next time, bye everybody! Bye!